How LeBron James tried to enter the 2002 NBA Draft before even graduating high school. As we all know, LeBron James is one of the greatest players to ever play. Some argue that he's the greatest player of all time, others argue he's just the GOAT of this generation alone, but whatever you believe, there is no doubting this man is a once in a lifetime player. I won't go into the details about what LeBron accomplished in the league, rather, I want to tell you a story that you may not have heard before. Did you know that LeBron James tried to join the NBA before even graduating high school? Not college, high school. If you enjoy these types of videos, be sure to smash that subscribe button and drop a like if you're new. In 2002, LeBron James unsuccessfully tried lobbying to be able to be entered into the NBA draft before even graduating high school, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. I mean, we knew he was good. We knew he was great. In fact, we knew he was amazing. We knew he was the chosen one, but a 17 year old kid in the NBA? I mean, just imagine if he was successful and the lobby worked out. It would be an interesting 2002 NBA draft to say the least. Who would have went first? 17 year old LeBron James or Yao Ming? Following LeBron's junior year of high school, the rising star petitioned the league so he could enter the 2002 NBA draft at age 17. Obviously, James was denied because he hadn't even graduated high school yet, but it was an actual thing. He petitioned the league to be able to enter the NBA draft at 17 years old. That's crazy! Had LeBron James actually been successful in the petition to enter the NBA draft, many people would obviously be opposed to the idea, no doubt about that, but can you imagine what it would have been like? Let's just think about five possible scenarios. Scenario number one. Cleveland tanking the year before the 2002 NBA draft just to have a chance to select LeBron James and bring him back to Cleveland. Plus, David Stern, knowing his crazy rigged drafts and his crazy tactics, probably would have helped Cleveland in the lottery just to land the first overall pick, instead of the sixth overall pick, which is what they had that year, to select LeBron James. Scenario number two. LeBron James doesn't end up getting drafted by Cleveland, rather, he instead goes number one to the Houston Rockets, who would later on end up getting Tracy McGrady in a trade in 2004, and I assume that that trade would still happen considering it happened with Yao Ming, I assume it could still happen with LeBron James. I mean, Tracy McGrady can play the shooting guard, LeBron James can play the small forward, it would be pretty cool. And who knows, had LeBron and Tracy McGrady played on the same team, I think the Rockets could have had one or two championships at this point. With McGrady and LeBron, that's just crazy, since it was 2008 where McGrady started getting the major injury, so had LeBron James been on the team beforehand, that would have been insane. The reason why Yao and T-Mac didn't work was because Yao was injured half the time. Imagine LeBron and T-Mac, I mean, LeBron carried a terrible Cavs team to the finals. What's to say he couldn't have done the same thing with Houston, and what's to say he couldn't have gone even further with Tracy McGrady, a healthy Tracy McGrady at that. Scenario number three. LeBron James gets drafted in 2002, but now we get to see a matchup between the GOAT of Michael Jordan in his last year in the league and LeBron James, the rookie who looks to take over the league. Had LeBron James been drafted in 2002, we most likely would have witnessed a LeBron vs Michael Jordan matchup, and you know that Michael Jordan would have brought his A game for this one. Even though he was 39 years old, it would have been amazing to witness. You see the 17 year old kid of LeBron James vs the 39 year old Michael Jordan, obviously it's not prime Jordan vs prime LeBron, but come on man, that would still be amazing. LeBron vs Jordan, I think that would be pretty cool. Scenario number 4. The whole 2003 draft changes. Melo would probably go number one if I think it all stays the same. I mean, to be honest with you, Cleveland, if they didn't have LeBron James, I think they'd select Carmelo Anthony. I mean, a small forward, it makes sense. Even though Darko went number two, I strongly believe that Carmelo would still be on the Cleveland team. He'd be selected number one. Militich, he would probably go to Denver. Chris Bosh would head to Detroit, and Dwayne Wade would end up in Toronto. But the crazy thing is, about all of this, if Bosh went to Detroit, they would have won the 2004 championship. I mean, we all know that Pistons team with Billups, Richard Hamilton, Tayshaun Prince, Rashid, and Ben Wallace, along with Chris Bosh on the bench for the future? That's just crazy. So, had Bosh been selected in 2003 by Detroit, I'm just saying that that would be insane. And in this scenario, it would have happened. Lastly, scenario number five. LeBron James, had he been drafted by Houston, 
Let's say since they had the number one overall pick that year, had he been drafted there, he would have been in the Western Conference. That means we would have seen battles like Kobe's Lakers vs LeBron's Rockets in most likely the Western Conference Finals. I mean, just imagine all those battles in the playoffs, if only David Stern let this happen. <laughs> like just imagine the whole landscape of the NBA right now at this point if LeBron James was in the Western Conference. It would be insane. By the way, let me know if you guys can think of any other scenarios had LeBron James been drafted in 2002 at age 17. Those were just five off the top of my head, but obviously there's heaps and heaps more. So just if you have a scenario, let me know down below because I think it's pretty cool just to wonder. In my opinion, I think LeBron James and his mum tried to lobby for LeBron to be able to leave high school early for the 2002 NBA draft, and obviously it failed. After the loss of the Division 2 Championship game and a Gatorade National Player of the Year award, LeBron James tried to petition the NBA before the NBA's one and done rule was implemented in 2006. No one could be drafted until they graduated from high school. And LeBron obviously wanted to go before he even graduated high school. Not college, high school. It's obvious that David Stern had something to do with it. I mean, I doubt he would have let LeBron James, a man that had not even completed high school, enter the NBA. I mean, after all, David Stern played a huge role with getting players to play in college before the NBA, and he made the one and done rule a thing. So, I haven't read or heard anything, but I think it's quite obvious he would have had a huge part in making sure LeBron James didn't leave high school early, let alone college. Just imagine a 17-year-old boy in the NBA. What if an injury happens? It could possibly cost David Stern his job, so he wasn't having any of it. In fact, I'm so confident in this theory because just a few days later, LeBron and his mother failed in their lobby to get LeBron into the 2002 NBA draft, and they came out with this statement. To squash it all, he's gonna finish high school. It's, everything is coming fast enough. There's no need to rush it. I never considered that. You know, um, it wasn't even the thought. You know, you really can't even do that. I, I don't want to go through that. I want to graduate with my class. I, I got three best friends, uh, Drew, Willie, and Sheehan. And um, high school, you can't come back to. And um, you know, prom, you can't come back to. Lastly, I want to say one more thing. And this is what Danny Ainge said. If you don't know who Danny Ainge is, he's the current general manager of the Boston Celtics right now. And he said this back in 2002, while LeBron James was still in high school. And I quote, if I were a general manager, there are only four or five NBA players that I would trade to get him right now. And at that time of that quote, Danny Ainge was actually the Phoenix Suns coach. Now, do you know how crazy that is? Keep in mind, Danny Ainge has shown that he's a pretty respectable GM at this point. I mean, he's the GM of the Boston Celtics, the guys who seem to be in every trade rumor to get DeMarcus, to get Carmelo, to get all these players. Yeah, he is their GM, although he hasn't made a move with all the picks they have. I'm just saying, he got the picks in the first place. That's for another story. But he's shown that he's a pretty great GM. He said that he would trade all but five or so players in the NBA, and those players most likely would have been Kobe, Allen Iverson, Shaquille O'Neal, Tim Duncan, Tracy McGrady, and probably Kevin Garnett. That means every other player in the league, Danny Ainge would trade away for a 17-year-old boy. Obviously, that 17-year-old boy was LeBron James, but how crazy is that? Danny Ainge also said, I love Jason Williams at Duke, and I've heard about the Chinese guy, the 7 foot 6 Yao Ming, but if LeBron came out this year, I would take him number one overall. And this is what he said after he watched LeBron James play for the second time. How insane is that? Let me know down below what you think. Would you take a 17 year old boy in the 2002 NBA draft, or a 7 foot 5 Yao Ming? I want you guys to let me know, but not from what you know now but what it would have been like in 2002. How do you not know what LeBron would turn into and how do you not know what Yao Ming would turn into? Who would you draft? A lot of people would take Yao Ming since, I mean, he was seven foot five and he looked like a dominant player in this draft. And don't get me wrong, he ended up with an amazing career. And had it not been for injuries, who knows what could have happened? But let's be real, even at age 17, in fact, even before 17 years old, most teams would have picked LeBron James. I mean, there was no doubt. He was the number one hype prospect ever. His age didn't matter. He could have been 15 and teams would have wanted him. Okay, I don't know about that, but I'm just saying that he was really damn good in high school. <laughs> And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just thought it'd be a very interesting video for those that didn't know about LeBron James and how he tried to enter the draft at age 17. Like I said, just imagine if David Stern let it happen. 
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos just like this. We're trying to get that 200,000 subscriber mark. That would be awesome if you guys could help me get there. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, let's try and hit 4,000 likes and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Also, comment any other suggestions on video ideas that you have and I'll try and make it happen. I'm out. Peace.